more difficult than any bomb, and a war which truly can only be won in the hearts and minds of good men and women in every nation of the world. One can infer from that statement that drug war is a collective war which must involve body and souls of individuals. As a core member attached to the Public Enlightenment Division of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, I am opportune to see the need to keep Nigeria drug free at all costs. In that wise, I feel with strong conviction that my one year service to this country will be incomplete if I fail to initiate a program that will further unfetter hands and legs of innocent drug victims from the bondage of illicit drugs through the ways I know better. I engage myself in the composition and writing of various anti-drug songs and plays. So armed with proposals, I approach the Lagos Island local government through Zone ANYC Zona Inspectorate Office. The local government felt concerned, appreciated my artistic endeavors, approved my proposal, and here we are today launching drug war at the grassroots with my one-man drama show titled Crossroads. The first series of anti-drug songs in the demo period. You have been listening to some of the songs before the beginning of the school. I especially deserve two numbers which I played shortly before the day of our started. Now, I now wish to use this opportunity to appeal to you, having seen my performance, so please help to ensure that this does not die in this form. The productions are equally needed for the people who are not opportunity to sit here in front of me. My music is produced both in form, reggae and form music to go across the generality of the people. Since music is the language that people understand. call on concerned individuals, governments, national and international organizations to kindly see to the sponsorship of this music so that it will soon be on records for enlightenment purposes in various countries. Other assistant directors and staff of the Cancelling Unit, NBLA, I am grateful for permitting, me, for permitting me to utilize my knowledge in the crusade against drugs. More importantly, I must express my profound gratitude to the chairman of the Lagos Island of Agony. Prince Ademola Adeli Jalide, Secretary to the local government, Mr. Jide Damasio, the Executive Secretary of Life, Mr. Yomi Bada, and, other, and uh, the Administrative Officer of Life, Mr. Penny Adeshebe, and other officials of the Lagos Island of Agony, for having confidence in me and for giving me the necessary assistance for this performance. I promise to not to let you down. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, do not let us forget that the drug war is set everybody's war. We must fight together and win together. Can you give me a place to start and I will move the war? <laughs>
Then we have leaflets. The big statement. Give us our campaign. At a glance, you will learn the signs, changes, and effects of drug abuse. Then people have used drugs. You know, we have cocaine. We have heroin here. We have all types of drug marijuana, different bags. We have even prescription drugs. Addicted to some of these drugs like Pelion, Drum, what people to know that these drugs can be addicted to these drugs. Then we have, you know, these drugs are quite expensive. So they use this bread of Lolo, <laughs> Before we used to run it uh, in Naira, uh, what would have cost us ten naira to to run? Was we are not only trying to the DJ will represent in Nigeria. We want to win international jargon has not arrived, so we can speak. <laughs> it requires the money. The, the idea the boy has done in a rough way. If you take it to any competition, it will not win. You have to, it's a scientific discovery. It has to be built up. It has to be supported and ready there. If you not win it, it is properly done. And now that the uh, video people are here, uh, Directors of Java, other principals, they are workshop participants, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I feel delighted and highly honored to welcome you all to the opening ceremony of the fourth Lagos State Junior Engineers, Technicians and Scientists Workshop, that is the guests workshop which is organized by the Lagos State Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports. The primary aim of this workshop is to familiarize JETS coordinators, teachers, facilitators, and the rest of us with the scope of the JETS concept. This concept not only seeks to inculcate science and technology a technology culture in our companies, but also offers avenue for scientific breakthrough and establishing an enduring technological base for a beloved state in particular and the country in general. Science and technology play very important roles in every country's social and economic development. We would want by sustaining interests in JETS to harness at the gains of JETS concept towards achieving the same goal in Nigeria. We cannot do this without the active involvement of all of us here present, especially everyone involved in the education delivery system in the country. I would like to say that scientific achievement as well as scientific consciousness are the basic requirements for any country's economic takeoff. And in Nigeria, we need to lead the rest of Africa in this case. 
in every facet of the program. Therefore, the situation where articles and projects contributed by JETS are sent to the state secretariat by JETS teachers and facilitators do not bear any evidence of the input of the JETS teachers is not in the best interest of the JETS concerns. And I'm quite sure that this workshop will resolve some of these problems. Another point which I will want the workshop to address is the issue of improvement of past competition projects. We must find a continuous way of fine-tuning our projects and improving them so that they can eventually turn into fully finished uh, projects and possibly to be commercialized. I will be indeed grateful if in the course of the, of the deliberations, the workshop designs an effective modality aimed at improving the performance of already exhibited projects. The benefits of such program do not need to be overemphasized. Finally, it is my hope that at the end of this workshop, we will be able to count our blessings in respect of improved activities and the improved scientific consciousness in our students and our populace in general. I believe that this having been done, Lagos State will excel. I wish you very successful deliberation and I thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Which can be improved upon. I believe that this is essential and the country needs this uh, on a continuous basis, not just an ad hoc situation which we have been dealing with. Uh, this, I believe, gives the interactional relationship between all the scientists and the technicians and technologists in our environment. And it is through such interaction that exchange of ideas can lead to improvement of projects. Um, one notes the marvelous achievements of the Lagos State contingent from time to time uh, with the second, uh, with the female group coming second at the competition, I think uh, that we shall dedicate to the first lady of Lagos State. Yeah. I believe that it is not just a better life for rural women, it is becoming a better life for scientific women. <laughs> Through the achievement in just of coming first in the just competition uh, is highly commendable, as well as the debate on uh, experience of coming first in computer science. One cannot suspect. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh,